Hello, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and in today's video I'm going to show you how I made this very simple quarter circle skirt. I made this skirt from a curtain that I thrifted that I personally think belonged to a very cool grandma. So I'm going to try and turn it into a very cool skirt. And I get an extra point, an extra cool point, because this skirt has pockets. So the first thing I did was cutting off the parts of the curtain that I did not need. This was a part at the top and at the bottom. I'm going to use the bottom part to make the waistband, by the way, so I don't waste fabric. And then I laid this out on the floor and I folded my fabric in half, but in a way that it forms a triangle. Then I wanted to start, but my dog was like, hey, this is a cool place for me to sit. Hi, who is editing me? I just looked at the footage from me drawing the pattern on the fabric and it's not that clear. So I'm going to use this piece of paper to show you how I did it. So you will have to use your imagination. And imagine that this piece of paper is the fabric. Can you do that? Can you do that? Can you do that? Can you do that? To make a quarter circle skirt, you need to draw a quarter circle on top. And on the bottom of this triangle, that will make the pattern. The circle on top is for your belly. I'm going to add an elastic in this. And when you add an elastic into a skirt, you need to measure the biggest part that you have to pull it over. That is my behind. So I measured this. And now I'm going to divide it by 1.57 or half a pie. And now I'm not giving you half a pie. I'm sorry, I'm talking about the matte pie. Matte with an A, to be clear. Now I'm going to use this measurement to draw the first quarter circle on top. The bigger circle on the bottom is to decide the length of your skirt. Choose your desired skirt length. And now you have to add this to the length of the small circle. And then you draw a second bigger circle in the same way. If you cut this out now, you have a quarter circle skirt. Congratulations. You should be very, very proud of yourself. This is called a quarter circle skirt because if you would make four of these and you would lay them together, you could form a full circle. This is a quarter of that. The more you know. Now you can release your brain of all of that imagination because the skirt is back. I cut this in half for a very, very important and mandatory step, the pockets. Here is how I make my pocket pieces. I start by drawing a straight line that's big enough for my hands to fit through. And then I kind of shape an oval around this, but oval has kind of a downside for the pocket. I mostly just copy this from a pocket piece that I found online. So this takes a little bit of practicing and this is also not the correct way to do it because I make my pockets way too big. Then I cut this pocket piece out, but now I only have one piece and I need four. So I copied this piece three times to make four pieces that I'm going to sew into the skirt. But before I do that, I'm going to do a bit of a tedious job and that is zigzag stitching around my edges. I didn't do this the first two years that I was sewing and I regret it so much because this makes your project last so much longer. This prevents them from unraveling in the washing machine. So it's a very useful thing to do. So I just zigzag stitch around all of the edges of all of the pieces before I set them together. You should do this. Before we go on with this sewing vlog, I'm going to introduce you to a friend where I have a hate-love relationship with, the ironer. When sewing in pockets, an ironer is super important. So I first pressed all of my pieces nice and flat. Then I laid the half of the skirt out on the table and I pinned my pockets 20 centimeters from the edge. For the lovely people watching this who live at the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, that's 8 inches. 
So I pinned the four pocket pieces to the two skirt pieces. And once they were correctly in place, I sewn this with a simple straight stitch. And I took it again to the sewing machine to press this sewing line. This is really important if you want your pockets to look good inside the skirt. Then I had two pieces with pockets and I wanted to turn that into one piece. So I laid them together and I pinned them to prepare them for the sewing machine that's going to put them into a hopefully loving relationship for the rest of their lives. I sewed this with a straight stitch as close as possible to the edges and don't forget to sew along with the pockets. Then I turn it around and now I have a skirt with pockets. All I need now is a waistband. But first I took a little break from editing and went to buy some lovely flowers for my garden. If you have a good memory, you might remember that I saved this piece to make the waistband. So I measured it by holding my skirt next to it. You can also use measuring tape if you prefer that. And then I cut it in a width that I liked, but for me it was 12 centimeters, that's something like five or six inches. And I'm going to prepare the waistband. So I first zigzag stitch around the edges to prevent them from unraveling. And then I fold it over the edge of the waistband two times. This gives the waistband a nice finish. I don't have footage of it but I also closed the waistband so it formed around and then I folded it double and now I'm going to pin this over the skirt so the skirt has a waistband. So I pinned this waistband all over the skirt. Take your time to do this so it's done neatly. Now I'm going to sew it with a simple straight stitch but I will leave a small opening so I can insert the elastic. Then I did something that my grandmother definitely would have done. I cut the elastic from an old underwear because the underwear was broken, but the elastic was still very good. So I cut the elastic open and then I went looking for a safety pin. When I finally found one, I pinned it to the edge of the elastic. And I'm going to use this to put it in the opening and to guide me through. And once I was through, I pinned the ends back together. Then I sewn them together with a zigzag stitch. I pulled them inside the waistband and I closed the opening. And now we have a skirt with a waistband. The last thing that you have to do is to hem the skirt. And the only tip that I can give you here is to hem slowly and use your best friend the ironer a lot. And here we have the skirt, so it's the end of the video. I just wanted to show you the outfit that I thrifted because I'm actually kind of proud of it. It's just like a casual outfit that I can wear for work or going to the shop or whatever. So for the top, I decided to work with the green that is already in the skirt. And I found this at the thrift store. It's a really nice soft sweater. Even though it's almost summer, it can still get kind of cold where I live, especially in the evenings. I really like this sweater. Then on the same day in the same thrift store, I also found this necklace. This was only a euro, so I'm really happy that I found this and I like to pair it with this. Then I have this bracelet. I will come a little closer so you can see it. And then to finish it off, I have my little earrings. They are also roses. Voila, and of course I also need shoes, so I will get them. I also thrifted these shoes. And that was it for this uh, video. Please let me know what you think of the skirt and the outfit. Do you love it? Do you hate it? In the comments below. Thank you so much for watching until the end and bye!